Hello, my name is Richard Bark. I'm a professor in the School of Public Policy at Georgia Tech and the director of the undergraduate program. The School of Public Policy focuses on issues related to science and technology and to public decision making. These issues include topics such as energy and environmental policy, economic development, bioethics, the regulation of risk, um, it, basically any area in which science and technology plays a major role in public decision making. And as you might imagine, that includes almost everything. When people ask me what is public policy, I tell them that the short version is multi-attribute, multi-stakeholder strategic decision making under uncertainty. What that means is that we deal with wicked problems problems that have multiple decision makers, that have conflicting values and objectives, problems where we can't experiment, problems where we have incomplete data. Uh, think about how many real world problems that applies to. One of the grandest challenges facing us is navigating the gap between the specialized knowledge of scientists and engineers and the generalized knowledge that's required of policymakers. In our school, we focus on areas of public policy that relate to science and technology, especially areas such as energy policy, environmental policy and sustainability, bioethics, and regional economic development. Combining a mechanical engineering and public policy education can make you into a more well-rounded, capable problem solver. What employers, including engineering employers, are saying about what they're looking for in, the, in their future workforce are people with good communication skills, people who are agile problem solvers, people who can work with diverse groups. These are all things that public policy can help provide. Students who study public policy find jobs and develop careers in a wide variety of areas. Sometimes we can't even anticipate what they're going to do. A lot of our students go on to law school. We see more of our students being hired by top management consulting firms than graduates of a business school. Many of our students go to work in the private sector or in the not-for-profit sector, and a few public policy students actually even find work in government. I once had an ME undergraduate in my regulation class. She was talking about the work that she was doing on tribology, looking at the wear on mechanical heart valves. I was flying not long after that to Puerto Rico for a conference and sitting next to an executive with a medical device company. I started talking about her work and her interests and he literally grabbed my arm and made me promise to send her resume. He was thrilled at the idea of finding an engineer who could actually understand FDA medical device regulations. We actively recruit students with engineering backgrounds for our masters and PhD programs. In fact, about a third of the faculty in the School of Public Policy have degrees in science or engineering, myself included. So obviously we value the types of insights and perspectives that engineering and science students can bring to the study of public policy. The official seal of Georgia Tech has two words on it, progress and service. Both of those require expertise in science and engineering, but they also involve the decisions that we make about what constitutes progress and what constitutes service. Students who study public policy believe that progress is possible. They believe that service is important. So combining the engineering expertise provided by programs like mechanical engineering with the tools to actually move these solutions forward in the political and social realm, what could be a better combination?